All right, what's up, everybody? Sitting inside the 07 BMW 750. Yeah, this one is going to be an interesting one to film today. So uh, stay with me on CCV. Hope y'all ready to see what it's all about. Well, before we hit the roads in the 7 Series, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the difference between the body styles on some of the newer versions of the car. As you can see there, you know, the 7 Series BMW has came a long way over the years in just design and everything like that. But, I mean, this particular vehicle here, man, what, a, what an amazing vehicle. I mean, it really got a lot of people excited about BMW all those years ago but wow what an amazing vehicle that is now this one here has got the m sport but the rear ends have changed quite a bit the rear end on your your 07 it's just got a just a different look to it you know that um that trunk it's just got the, the way it, it looks the way it kind of moves out don't even really know the words to describe it but it just got its own unique look about it and uh definitely on that body style there um just so much more uh, just more sportier looking to me this is a little more luxurious looking in my opinion but uh yeah <laughs> gorgeous wheels my goodness those wheels are absolutely gorgeous with those uh, pirelli tires and these wheels, look at those, just nice big silver alloy wheels, you know? Rim designs have also changed a whole lot over the years as well. You know, a lot of people don't necessarily probably talk about rims on vehicles all that much. But again, I mean, look at the little CRV here. Just a plain old steel wheel, right? I mean, most of your cars nowadays, even just the base model Kia Forte, they're going to, well, I guess they still do do hubcaps, but I mean, a lot of cars come with just nice alloy wheels on them um, nowadays. You know, they just don't put a plain old steel wheel on a car anymore. But again, look at the wheels on the T-Bird there, you know, again, just nice big spokes. You know, it really wasn't so much about showing the brake calipers and the rotors and all that stuff back in the day right um to me yeah the wheels on the 7 series there it shows everything i mean look at that you can see it it looks good too just the design but anyways as all of y'all know you know wheels change rims tires bodies of vehicles all that stuff changes quite a bit we just bought this car pretty sweet and that's a cadillac um, XLR black on black with 34,000 miles. So, um, you know, we do get some really interesting vehicles at our store, but don't let me hold up the video anymore. I got to get out and do a few photos of the Beamer and then we're going to hit the street. All right, y'all, you ready? So, you know, as I'm sitting inside this 2007 7 Series, I'm like, goodness gracious. BMW put a ton of buttons inside this car. I mean, it's absolutely insane how many buttons there is inside the vehicle. There is so many little features and options and things you can do. And um, you really, I mean, you almost got to read a, a complete manual about the car just to figure out everything. But one thing that is nice is that you can kind of tell what each button does for the most part. But some of them, you just wonder. If you've never been in one before, you're like, what is the SDM, right? Sport drive manual, maybe? I don't know. Um, earlier, they put the they put this right here is the actual, from shifting the drive and parking all, this tiny little thing, right? But then right here is the wipers. I hit the wiper thing earlier by accident, and it literally shot water out that way instead of this way. I mean, it shot water on the windshield, but it has actually little 
little water squirters up front there for the headlights. And you're talking about some power. Boy, them things really shot out a load there right out inside the car. But anyways, um, but yeah, a lot of little buttons. I got to get the AC on. It's actually a little bit hot in here right now. So let's hit that. And let's see if the AC works. I mean, again, this is an 07 750 and uh, it's not going to be terribly that expensive. Jeez, it does have a pretty decent amount of power though. I mean, I hit the gas just out. That puppy just got up and rolled out, um, which was kind of nice. And the AC is blowing cold, so that's, that's good. Let's don't get in an accident. I think we'll play with buttons and stuff when we get to a stop in a moment. Holy macaronis. Let's see what this V8 will do. I'm gonna just hit it a little bit right here. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Whoa, the brakes do pretty good too. So not bad. That actually is kind of fun. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the mileage right at this particular moment because it's telling us we got a front, a left front tire low on air, which when I got out a minute ago and took a look, it didn't seem to be low on air, but the tire pressure monitoring system has probably got a better idea of the pressure in the tires than I do. But by looking at it, it seemed to be all right. All right, we're in our spot. There's a little baby kitten up there looking just as cute as can be. Always runs away from me. But yeah, let's get out and take a look at the car, show it to you, let you look at the interior, talk about how much money it's gonna cost and all that to buy something like this. It does crank up and run in 2022. All right, everybody, I'm gonna do the best I can to go around this car in a quick fashion and let you see the condition of a pre-owned 750 in 2022. One that has been definitely used quite a bit. Um, this is definitely, a pre-owned car but it's got its fair share of uh, scratches and dings and dents paint fadage and all that but honestly at the end of the day here it runs it drives it shifts through the gears pretty smooth and it's pretty darn clean on the inside so this is like a good old fixer-upper right now whoever had this at one point or another told this is the telltale right here look at this that lets me know somebody lived out in the country or did some back road driving. Because anytime you put those on the front of your car, that's saying, look, Mr. Deer, don't get in the way because I don't want to hit a deer going down the road. Anyways, one was right there, obviously, at one point or another, too, but it flew off. So anyways, there's the, the front, as you can see it. So it's got, it's got some damage here. It's missing a little cap, but those do still work. And the hood is faded. Tires though, knee deep in rubber. Wheels actually are in pretty good shape. Um, passenger side does have some scratches right up in here. Okay, and right up in there. And there is some, there's a little bit of a crease in there as well. But if you bought it and you wanted to put some money into it and fix it up, you could get the vehicle repainted, same color if you want, or do a color change, whatever. But you could get the car repainted and have the paint shop or yourself if you're a handyman or woman body work that a little bit get it resprayed and it would fix all these little things like this and that and you'd have a car that would look phenomenal you'd have an 07 750i now it's not an li because an li is what is the long version the long wheelbase power tailgate still works all these years later how about that Trunk's got plenty of space. You got the ski through bag right there so you don't get any snow in the interior. Still got the first aid kit. Let's see what's actually in here. <laughs> well, look at that. Still even has the stuff that goes with it. How about that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you know, people always wonder, you know, what's in there, you know? Anyways, who knows? We might do something about that but a uh, GPS navigation unit right there that all still works and all your fuses and things like that right in there a lot of stuff 
this car's got a lot of computer systems in it. I mean, it is a technological nightmare, right? Spare tire, and it's a full-size spare. How about that? The only other company I know of back in the day that give you a full-size spare like that was Audi. Audi does that too. They're A8s, A6s. A lot of those cars, even I think A4s, had full-size spares. You know, because most people are just giving you a donut. What else? Almost looks like a little camera right there, but... Doors open up pretty wide. They don't like to stay in position, though, when you do that. See, they keep doing back. I mean, they will close and stay right about there. Now, does it have the soft touch? Absolutely. How about that? Pretty neat. Some of that stuff's still working. Got the shades. A lot of buttons. I'm trying to see. Oh, got the rear shade in the back. How oh, snap. Dang it, man. I should never have touched it. But, yeah, these, uh, Houston, we got a problem. Crap. Ah, oh, dang it. Everything's done falling apart. All right, it's not supposed to do this while I'm filming. Now, I'm going to attempt to hit some of these buttons, and hopefully some of this stuff will go back in position. Um, that's working over there. Okay, so what we got going on, man, that's actually great. This is fine over here, but this one is not working. And, of course, the back shade is not working as well. So, at least you know that now if you've been watching the video with me. Um, Legroom's good. This is a vehicle that you would sit in and maybe get, uh, you know, taken around town in. Up top, your legendary mirror. I have no idea why the mirror's in the middle. Maybe, you know, I always wondered this. Now, now, I'm just talking right off the cuff here, you know. These videos, that's how they are. Usually, they got the mirror right in this area and right over this area. Now that I'm wondering, though, why would they put it in the center? Oh, look at that. Man, the Kardashians would absolutely love this car. You know, you could move the mirror around and however you want. But that's actually pretty cool. Instead of having it here and here to save on cost, maybe they just put it right dab in the middle. Just an idea. Lots of little buttons and controls. You got your old shit handles above each windowsill. And oh crap, the headliner is starting to fall. And you do got side curtain airbags. I mean, this thing is definitely got all the tech stuff and it's got the safety. And there's where you sit. How about that? Anyways, what else do we got in here? Well, we got books, manuals. It's a pretty darn big armrest here. Open up, look at all that storage. And then you got some buttons. I have no idea what that button does, but does it heat up this armrest so you can warm your arm? I don't know. I really don't. If you're more of an expert with these 750s than I am, these older ones, let me know. This button is supposed to move the headrest up and down. Let's see if this one works. That one works just, just, a, just a little bit. Not worth even wasting your time to do it. And then the ski through, as we know about already. Not bad. Leather's in good shape though. That's definitely letting me know that BMW, when you buy a Beamer with real leather, the leather will hold up for a long time. Um, these even are doing a great job. That tells me nobody ever really put anything in those for them to just still not be dragging and hanging. So that's good stuff. Rear air, 2 volt, 12 volts. All right, moving along. I'm trying to go fast as I can here for you folks. You do have ashtrays on both sides in the back as well. More controls, more cubbyhole spots to store things. And you got component sets on your, on your music. And more airbags. It's got a lot of airbags. Now you'll notice not a lot of buttons on your door and not a lot of buttons on your seat, but your buttons for your seat are all right here. How about that? A few other things to mention. This might kind of blow your mind a little bit. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but does this car actually have auto on off that start feature that people can't stand? You know that feature? It's like, why is my car shutting off at the stop sign or at the stoplight and then crank it back up when I put my foot on the gas? Does it have that from 07? If so, 
that's pretty darn interesting right um this is the glove box this is the cd cartridge yeah pretty neat will that go back up i don't know maybe you got to do something else I, I really don't know we'll figure it out later um the screen is definitely a widescreen display it's technically it's kind of like two separate little screens there it's one big screen but they kind of put a the way it's kind of set up and the steering wheel tell me about this y'all does it not look like it's actually upside down the way they put these buttons up here which maybe are paddle shifters looks upside down but more buttons in here buttons here whatever that is for the radio and all that i still can't find the buttons to click in there to tell you the mileage just I just right now I just don't know but I know sooner or later we'll figure it out I like this this is kind of cool looking you know like these just these little itty bitty little cup holders yeah a super sized cup would definitely flip over though that doesn't go down very far another ashtray and one big enough for a nice big Cuban cigar what's in here another area to put things at and another area to put things at what does that button do oh calculator phone <laughs> cd player there's all kinds of little things anyways this is what it is it is what it is all right let's uh put our seat belt on yeah i know the video it's probably you're probably like man why isn't he drifting inside the, the, the car you know getting wild and crazy with it you know that's not what this is about y'all this is a 07 bmw and uh yeah we're checking it out all right y'all had a little phone call come in had to pick that up i got a flat tire on my volvo so uh one of my co-workers is hooking it up for me and he's gonna plug that tire y'all I appreciate that you know okay i came out the house about a week ago had a flat tire and uh i get driving down the road i didn't even know i had a flat tire and i guess it started getting flatter as i was going and next thing you know i'm at a gas station and i'm like trying to get some air in the tire and uh, i didn't have any cash on me i get back there to the tire thing it says two dollars i'm like oh man i walk so i anyways I actually, I take that back. I had two dollars or some cash on me. I didn't have uh, a whole lot of change. Anyways, long story short, I scrounged up, some, scrounged up some change in the car because the lady in the gas station, she, I go to get the gas and she goes, "Hey, we're not, we're not, um, you know, we can't give you any change because we don't have any change." So, anyways, I'm out there in the parking lot at the gas station, asking people for uh, for money. So, anyways, I'll be back, guys. We're going to finish this. All right, y'all. The review's over, okay? We made it back to Southern Motor Company. Long story short, though, earlier, I had to go out there at gas station and ask some folks for some change. I just needed a few quarters, right? And I tell you, I asked about three, four people for a quarter. It didn't happen too well. Finally, somebody says, look, man, here's, here's a couple quarters. And I was able to put some gas in that tire. So, thanks to, to my buddy here today getting that tire plugged for me. Anyways, the nail, you know, by the way, if you, if you want to plug a tire... Technically, if, if the nail is in the tire, if, if, if you got a nail in a tire that's close to this edge here, around, around that, that front side there or that back side, you can't really plug it. But if the nail is right dab somewhere in this area here, up in that area, you can technically plug a tire and get away with it for a while. And uh, that tire might not give you no more problems for quite a while. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do. But $49.90 is the price on this 750i call me i'll figure out the button and tell you the mileage what do you think the mileage is on it put it in the comment section because i'm not going to come back on the video and go hey man i found out what the mileage is let me know what do you think an 07 750 like this in this type of condition for 49.90 how many miles do you think 150 100 000, 200 250 what do you think and if one of y'all interested in buying it eventually i'll let you know what the uh, mileage is but have a great day, y'all. I'm Chad and sales at Southern Motor Company. Sell all types of cars. $4,000.